religion that is 500 years older than Christianity, Buddhism. When a great Buddhist holy man or lama dies, wise men consult the stars and other Romans and set off, often on extraordinarily long journeys to find the infant who is the reincarnation of the lama. When the child is old enough, he is taken away from his parents and educated in the Buddhist faith. Could this be the origin of the story of the three wise men? Could Jesus have been taken to India as a child and taught to be a Buddhist? The Russian writer Nikolai Notovich, traveling in India in the 19th century, discovered an ancient manuscript in a Buddhist monastery in Tibet. In his book, The Unknown Life of Jesus Christ, Notovich translated this manuscript, and it tells of a divine child called Isa, born in the first century to a poor family in Israel. Isa came to India at the age of 14, where he learned the laws of Buddhism before returning to Israel at the age of 29. This idea would certainly explain the otherwise odd fact that from the age of 14 to 29, there is absolutely no record of Jesus' existence in Palestine. Certainly, the later teachings and miracles of Jesus have uncanny parallels with the teachings and miracles of the Buddha. Loving your enemies and the idea that the meek will inherit the earth have absolutely no tradition or precedent in Judaism, but they are entirely consistent with Buddhism. He cometh unto them, walking on the sea. He walks upon the water without parting it, as if on solid ground. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Riches make a man greedy and so are like a caravan lurching down the road to hell. Lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven. where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Let the wise man do righteousness, a treasure that others cannot share, which no thief can steal, a treasure which doth not pass away. But if Jesus traveled or returned to the east, surely there would be legends like those in the south of France to support the idea. And of course, there are such traditions. In fact, the people here in Kashmir call their tribe Ben-e Israel and claim to be descendants of the lost tribes. And here there are stories that in the first century, Isa, known locally as Yusasaf, meaning leader of the healed, returned to Kashmir in his thirties. Yusasaf's ministry here can easily be seen as a continuation of the Jesus ministry. In a local temple called the Temple of Solomon, there used to be an inscription which told of Yusasaf's claim made about 50 AD to be Jesus, the prophet from Israel. Tamam Kashmir ki tarikum mein yehi likha hai ki ye bahar se aaya hai ye ye prophet tha ye peghambar tha aur Israel se aaya nasbain se andar border mein aaya hai aur phir yehi Tabli 
यूज असद के दूसरे मायने हैं कि यूज असद के दूसरे मायने हैं जमा करने वाला Yusuf Saad continued to teach and to preach in Kashmir until he died around the year 80 AD. He was buried in Srinagar. And this rather modest building is, they say, his tomb. The first shrine erected around the site was built in 112 AD. In fact, it is now a shared grave site. In the 15th century, the Islamic holy man Syed Nazir ud Din was also buried here. Although both the gravestones under the cloth point north-south in the Islamic tradition, the body of Yusasaf is buried beneath in a grave dug east-west in the Jewish tradition. But this is a sacred site, and short of exhumation, there is no way of discovering whether the body buried here is that of a man who once survived crucifixion. However, next to the sarcophagus are the carved footprints of Yusasaf, and they do have marks or scars on them. पत्थर पर उन्होंने कुंडा कर रखे हैं जैसे कि थे वैसे ही रखे हैं निशान के तौर पर उनमें जख्मों के निशानात बिल्कुल साफ नजर आते हैं जो सलीब पर चढ़ाने की वजह से उनके पाँव में जख्म आए थे The position of the scars just behind the toes do not match each other but they would align if a single nail was driven through both feet with the left foot placed on top of the right. There are many who believe this to be the tomb of Jesus. If this is the tomb of Jesus, then he spent most of his life in the mountain kingdom of Kashmir. He did not die on the cross. There was no resurrection. He did not ascend into heaven, and he does not sit at the right hand of God. For many Christians, this would be the end of Christianity as we know it. <laughs>